Hey folks, Karel from Data Losers here. In this video, we're going to implement row level security in QuickSight, and we will talk about the possible scenarios that you may find when this will save you a lot of time and effort. Row level security is only available to enterprise edition of QuickSight because the scenarios where you're going to implement this will be found in organizations most of the time. If you have multiple users or multiple groups in your QuickSight account and you want to share reports with them, then instead of building one dataset for each one of the users or each one of the groups, you can build a dataset with all the data and then filter that dataset so that the user reading it will only see the data that you want them to see. We're going to use the COVID dataset, the one that we created from the CSV file. And in this simple dashboard, you can see the total cases by continent and the total cases by continent and country sorted on a descendant manner. So right now I can see all the continents. Let's just imagine that we have a use case where you have multiple users or groups in your account and you want to restrict the continents that they are able to see. So you can put some mechanism in place to achieve this without having to replicate or create copies of this data set for each one of them. So let's put this in perspective. These are the groups and users that we have in our account. We have a global group, America's group, and Europe. And on the users, we have Karel, Angel, and Simon. Besides the root user, which is the one that I am currently using in QuickSet. And in my dataset, I have all these continents. Well, now we need to build something here in the middle which is going to filter the rows that each one of the users or groups can see. Now we need to build this green line. And this is actually very simple. All we need to do is create a data set with that translation built in. For example, here we are going to have two columns, one with the usernames and with the continents. Continent is the column that I'm going to be filtering in my data set. So what we are saying here is the user angel is only going to be able to see the continent North America. The user Simon is only going to be able to see Europe and Carol is going to be able to see everything. If we leave this in blank, this means that this user will have no restrictions. So keep that in mind. This is like a white card. If we don't want a user to see anything, then we just don't include that user here. Now that we have the scope defined for each one of the users, we are going to create in QuickSet a data set with this data. This could be kept in a CSV file on your computer. You can store it in S3 and update it regularly. You can have it in a relational database. It, it doesn't matter as long as you have it as a data set in QuickSight, where you can link that with the data set that you're going to be filtering. So let's do that. Let's jump to QuickSight and let's create a data set for that. I already did that. And as you can see here in this user single mapping data set, which is simply the sheet that I just showed you in the Excel. If I look at this data set, I will see that I have my username column and my continent column and Angel will be looking at North America only, Simon will be looking at Europe only and Karel will be looking at everything. So we have our data set, in this case is user single mapping and this is the definition of the permissions in this case. So I'm going to save it and now I'm going to select the data set that I want to apply these row level permissions. When you select it, 
you're going to be able to see the row level security option. Remember, this only works for enterprise edition of QuickSight. If you don't have an enterprise edition, then you will not see this. Now, if we click on this, we need to select the data set that is going to hold these permissions. In this case, is user single mapping, as we just saw. So as you can see, by default, this grant access to data set. We don't have any other option today. Let's see if they add something in the future. And when we select the table containing the translation that we want to do, the filtering that we want to do, we're going to apply that data set. This is going to let you know after you apply the rules, we filter the data, blah, blah, blah. So this is going to filter your data set by this table. We're going to apply. And now when you have here the table that you want to use for that mapping, then this worked. I'm going to close here. And as you can see now, my COVID data with geocodes data set has this lock icon here. And this means that my role level security is applied. So how do you think that my dashboard is going to look now? Remember that in this table, I have the user Angel, Simon, and Carol. If I had more users and those users are not listed here, that means that those users are not going to be able to see anything at all. So if I click on this, I'm not going to be able to see anything because remember I am signed in as the root user. And even though I am the administrator, I do not have the permissions to see this data set because I am not included in this table. So if I sign out, I'm going to sign in now with Angel, for example. And, and if you remember, Angel was able to see only North America. I'm signed in as Angel, I'm going to click here. And now, as you can imagine, Angel can only see North America's data. And that is what we wanted. Let's sign out with Angel and let's see Karel. What can Karel see? And Karel, remember, was a global user. He's allowed to see everything. I come to my dashboards and take a look at it. Karel can see everything. All the continents are available to him. Let's sign out with Karel. Let's sign in with Simon, which had permissions to see Europe's data. And there we have it. Europe is the only thing he can see. Let me go back, administration account. And you just saw how we implemented role level security when we assign permissions at the user level to see one continent of our data. Now, let's come here. And now for each user, let's grant permissions to see multiple rows at the time. Now, I want Angel to be able to see North America and South America's data, while Simon is going to be able to see Europe, Asia, and Africa's data. Note that you can set this up in two different ways. You can specify the rows available to one user in the same line, separating it by a comma. Please make sure that you don't have a blank space there, or you can set a new row for each one of the continents that this user is going to be able to see. So I have Angel with two continents and Simon with three and I'm going to keep Carol as a wild card for my account. Now let's come back here to QuickSight and user multiple mapping is the data set where I have the Excel sheet that you just saw. Let's take a quick look at it and here we have two columns user ID and continent with Angel, North America, and South America, and Simon with Europe, Asia, and Africa. Exactly the same information. So let's come back now to COVID data with geocodes and let's edit the role level security and switch it to this new user multiple mapping. Let's apply the data set. 
apply. And now we're going to have a server. We can find a key column in permissions dataset. Key columns must use the item names. Okay. Apparently, there's something wrong with my lookup table. Let's take a look. And this is the issue. So if you see, we have user ID as this column name, and this should be username or group name if you're applying permissions at the group level. Make sure that you either have username or group name. If you have something else, this is not going to work as you just saw, and also make sure that the column that you're using to filter matches with the name of that column in the data set that you're filtering, right? So continent is going to have a continent column in the COVID data set. That, that is very important, otherwise this is not going to work. So let's save the change. Let's come back here to my COVID data with geocodes. Let's edit the role level security switch it to my multiple mapping, let's apply, apply, hopefully it's going to work now, yes, there we have it, now the user multiple mapping is active here, and I'm with my global user, my global user shouldn't be allowed to see anything, let's see if that works, yes, now let's take a look at what our user Angel can see. He should be able to see North America and South America's data. And now we have it. He now can see these two continents. That's great. Let's see what cattle can see. Remember, the cattle should be able to see everything. Let's take a look at the dashboards. And there we have all the continents for cattle. And now let's check Simon. Simon should be able to see Europe, Asia, and Africa. And there, it worked. Everything looks great. Now let me go back to my administrative account. And now we know how to apply role level security to our datasets at the user level.